All right, everybody. So, just kind of want to show you where I'm at right now. Uh, we're, we've cr we're creating a new entity, right? So we're gonna we're gonna eventually produce something called an entity relationship diagram, and we're creating a new entity here called employee. And I'm kind of trying to define what the attributes of that employee are. So this employee has a name. He's got a, a role, hours work per month, his hourly rate. And then he's got a, a company vehicle and I'm trying to figure out now what his vehicle cost is going to be per hour of operation or per hour of work. Right. So in total, the estimated cost per hour, I asked ChatGPT, I said, hey, can you give me some figure to use in my pro forma invoice that estimates cost per hour to operate a vehicle? And it, it said, you know, 12 cents a mile is, is average fuel cost. Uh, 12, so it's 1200 a year or maintenance cost. I'm sorry insurance cost, depreciation. So in total, the estimated cost per hour to operate a vehicle would be around $14.50. I'm just gonna say $15. You know, uh, so, and then I can probably come out here and say monthly employee cost is gonna be, or not monthly, employee salary is going to be this times this and then it's also going to be equal to, and then do monthly car cost which is going to equal this this and hours of service one machine and then hours to drive to new location locations responsible so let's say that this guy's responsible for five locations it takes them an hour to get between each one right so monthly driving That's not the best way to do hourly rate. Yeah, that's not. That, this isn't the best way to do monthly car cost. Because we're just going to estimate it by the actual driving. So, if he's responsible for this times this times that, seventy-five bucks. If he's going to each location one time per month. You know, we can probably up that a bit. You know, and let's say it doesn't really make sense that he's only that a guy working 120 hours a month is only responsible for five locations. Let's say that this guy's responsible on 120 hours a month. If he can do it, a service of one and for a location in, in one hour, one time. Oh boy, that would be a lot. You know, this is a lot of labor. You know, I don't think the labor would cost this much for the employee. We'll just say 40 hours per month. That sounds a lot more reasonable. You know, he's got five locations, and then he's got how many machines responsible? I'm sorry, I'm just kind of like learning this on the fly. Let's say that he's responsible for 15, 10 locations and 50 machines. Okay, so in a month, that's 500 restockings. So we can just go down hourly, or we just say wages equals hour to service one machine uh, 
Yeah, see that see the wages have to have to line up. So really hours per month is more of a function of this times this. Right, and then driving cost is gonna be this times this times this. That's more realistic. So we can say, you know, maybe if he goes up, you know, to 15 and 70, that's kind of how that, that plays out, okay? That makes a whole lot more sense. So hours per month is a function of, of locations and the number of machines, hours to drive to a new location, vehicle cost per hour, hours to service one machine is one, we just say it takes an hour to service a machine. He's got an hourly rate and he gets reimbursed, you know, and we pay the driving cost. Let's clean this up a bit. So now we have our entity of employee. So we can calculate how much it's gonna cost on an activity basis as we scale our business up, how much we will incur new costs. We have, you know, for, for the most part, most of these employee costs, not definitely not all of them. So thank you for watching this, this episode on employee costs. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. See you soon.